Welcome back to Lower Trestles. We're watching the Hurley Pro, and we've got Jats and Andre taking on Joel Parkinson for a spot into the quarterfinals. They're exciting. Now watching the first wave of round five, heat four. Jadson sitting deep on the peak, picks his backhand to start. Squares up vertical, little chip on the inside corners, running out of room. And he'll just continue to fade. Gutless little inside corner, but Jadson will just keep on swinging to the flats. Parko notably a guy that loves to control the start of heats. That time looked like Jadson from looking out the back was just preparing for a left, but yeah. he just wanted to control the whole lineup. And it's so funny because you know that Joel has probably gave him that because he's figuring, you know what, I don't know about this. And actually Joel could have maybe even gone left on that peak, but they, he, that's what he was. He was protecting the peak. You know, this wave was ever, you know, you could see it from the very beginning. It was going to go into this shoulder section here. It wasn't going to give him a ton of wall, so, but he stayed with it, controlled the uh, inside line. He's going to get himself a mid-range score to start the heat. I mean, if it goes quiet, that might play into his favor. So scoring quickly, 3.5. Maybe towards the end, I made the mistake with priority, but I think I end up capitalizing on the inside with my last at big air, so yeah. It's interesting to hear you say that. I mean, just watching you and watching the waves that Kersey got, it did seem like you were feeding off his energy out there. Were you looking back at any of his waves while he was riding? Uh, yeah, I was, cause I'm a fan of Kersey, so <laughs> I like watching him, but... Um, yeah, I, I definitely wasn't comfortable out there with the scores I had, but um, yeah, I was really happy to start with the 767, but I don't even know what I got on that last one, so. So inverted, didn't need much of a ramp. During the interview, though, we got a great exchange underway. This is exactly what I was talking about, the fact that he is able to plow through all this chop and make it look like it's a glassy wall, but that was not a glassy wall. That thing was filled with chop hole, you know, potholes and all sorts of wild stuff and he just plowed through it put some beautiful turns in looks so smooth carried a ton of speed and it's gonna be a pretty good score to start this heat out waited patiently to showcase that rhythm and flow of joel parkinson hit the hurley pro and then went on to win the final which was a big one obviously it's been a while now so he's got to be dying to win this event jadson will check out the lowers left oh you can ask him about that final. He remembers what the temperature was like, how the conditions were, and that's a moment that he will never forget. Coming back from break here, Pete, we're seeing Parko and Jadson on the split. Parko a little bit deep on the right now, but Jadson's winding up for a tail blow finish. He'll slowly ride out of that one at the 16 minute mark. And utilizing priority and what his opponents or his opponents going to do. You know, this was a. Uh, a tough wave for Joel. That wave ran off down the line. And then here's the left. Bit more open face for Jadson. Chucks the fins, holds on, lays it back. Again, steeper face on the left. You know, great analysis from Strider in regards to the wind being not the optimum direction on those lefts. A, a, a sign of the surfer's voice, you know, guys making a call and wanting to see it change. Quick up and out for Jaddy on the left, so we'll catch up to Parko. Running after something big, a couple of speed floats will get him there. Snap through the white water. Man. Attacking the sections again. They keep coming down in front of him, and he uses them, pushing hard against him. So two scores waiting for Parko that are going to help out his lead. It doesn't look like he's working real hard, and somehow the board is just squirting down the line. There he uses the float. Again, long bottom turn, but he's pressing and using and spitting that water out the tail of the surfboard, carrying a ton of speed. And again, coming out of his maneuvers with speed. No hitch of the rails. And that's why he's just so smooth. We talk about it, Parko, why? Why is it so smooth? Why does he make things look so easy? Because he's not moving so much. He's not showing us that he's working too hard, but he's carrying all this speed. And it's just great technique. He knows where to push his board at the bottom on his bottom turns to gain all that speed. And just like yourself, Pete, Bart, and everyone gets involved in surfing at some stage. They're here to stay. Once it's in you, you're a surfer for life. But they also want to see the board directionally change, and especially in the beginning of a ride. Little chip in for Jadson Andre on the lower's left. Blow tail to start, small inside corner, but he's got the speed. There's a wrapping cutback. Jaddy winds up, tags it through the lip. Big bottom turn, nice and vertically. So maxing out the wave count, 
here with Jadson as he's just running through maneuver after maneuver and chips it one more time. You know, at this size, battle off a ton of moves, so not a big set way, but he had a great line on it. And see how steep these sections are, and that will definitely help to gain points. The snap with the tail release, the carve, and then again, it goes steeper one more time. Attacking the lip, nice combination of major moves, and still more to come. You know, the rights didn't generally have been slowing up through that midsection, whereas this one stayed a bit steeper. So I'll be interested to see where this score goes. Only needs a 5.22. I would say that he's right there in the category of uh, turning this heat right now. Parco back to the right, setting up his first move. Clean vertical snap down the line on a messy looking wave. Jams it off the roof. Carves through the inside corner and looking for some speed. Sections are gonna delay. This big blast off the lip. Parco still looking strong through his last carve and he kicks out. So what a contrast. Jaddy picking off the left. Parco sticking to his forehand on these stretched out rights. Last of Parco was the 487 and now tell you this is much better for Parco again bigger wave but he gets the turns on the outside look at that straight bottom turn into the lip carrying a ton of speed that time gets some tail release on maneuver number two right into a car so good variety again carrying a ton of speed this is where he had to chase it down but he'd already done the maneuvers on the outside and then he finishes strong this is going to be his best wave as we watch this angle it gives a really good storytelling of how vertical, how versatile. Results throughout the Hurley Pro so far this season, including an 18.67 total. Andre now getting some speed for the back end. Swinging a couple of solid backside turns. Goes from verticals to carves now, as this wave starting to lose some size and shape. And Andre will look to just put it to bed real quick on the inside. He <laughs> pumps himself up through the finish. I love it, Jaddy. I think it's going to come a little short if you look at uh, it needed to be better than Joel's wave. And I feel like Joel's wave just had a little bit more to give, especially on the second maneuver of Joel. But nice vertical approach from Jadson here. But the wave got sleepy, slows up right here. He stays with it. He did make up at the end, though, because this wave does steepen up right there on the rocks. Gets that nice vertical hit for a finish and looks at the judges, gives them a little pump of the fist. Joel Parkinson, always smooth, opened up with a 617. Yeah, this is the 617, which is in his top two. You know, he had to listen to Jadson start off with a couple quick waves, but he stayed patient on the outside. And it paid off, got himself a nice set wave and into the good range with a 6.17. Of course, Jaddy kept it together here as he starts to find some lefts and picks up a pretty good score, a 5.83. This is Jadson's best wave. Nice size set left. Again, section staying pretty steep on the face, attacking the lip. You know, they would have liked to have been able to ride out of that one clean. I think that affected the score slightly, but then Joel with the 7.60 right here. Big turns on the outside. Nice mix with carves and slashes. Floats, speed carried, again, finishing strong. A nice little tail release and a car. That for Jadson. Jadson now with a minute 15 to go. Needs a 7.94 on this wave to take the lead. Wrapping turn off the top. Nice vertical tail blow on the next effort. High line wrap. So far so good for Andre. And looks like he's clear for takeoff. Front side punt. Extend the slide into reverse and the finish. Andre stays on his feet. He had the variety. Had a couple of solid majors right in the pocket. Joel Parkinson picked up this wave and again, probably took away some of the attention when he does moves like that. Nice release. Stuffs the rail on the second turn though and kicks out. Again, bit of distraction though. And you have uh, two surfers up, kind of takes away some of the attention. But look at this steep wall that Jadson got. Gets that little slide release, like you said, on the first section, but he does it again at the end. Tough section for an air. You want to have a bit of lip, but he does well just to do the tail Brody rail grab. But I feel like it's still going to come up a little bit short. Looks like Joel's going to make this one. Judges throw down the score for Andre. Tums in at a 7.0. Not enough to take the lead off Parco. Oh, Salvinha! Se ela tivesse ficado para dar um aerozão, aí eu virava. Mas ela ficou sem junção. 
Anda ficou sem junção. Asking his manager Pinga about the result that just came through. Ends up just short, but getting an equal ninth result. And Parco back into another final series here at the Hurley Pro.